Welcome to Brown's Rod and Custom, your home for street rods, muscle cars, and Volkswagen content. This is my dad, Big Ron. He's our body man and fabricator. This is my beautiful wife, Megan, our editor-in-chief and supporter. And this is me, Adam, the designer and mechanic for our projects. If you find our videos helpful, like and subscribe for more content. Hey everybody, welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. Wanted to uh, ask you guys if you could do me a favor. Um, if you're watching these videos and, and checking out the channel and you like what you see, if you guys could hit the subscribe button for me, we would really appreciate that. Uh, we are working our way to trying to get monetized so that we can build bigger, better cars and more builds and so on and so forth and keep doing this. And uh, that would help us a lot um, if you guys could do that for us. So. Um, that's really all I got for you. Really appreciate all of you. Stay tuned. We've got lots of cool builds coming. Lots of things starting to happen on a lot of different cars. So it won't just be the thing. It's going to be the thing, the 40 Ford, the Apache. There's going to be a lot of things happening. So just stay tuned and uh, I will try my best to get you as many videos as I can, uh, including Don's 1957 Chevy two-door post uh, that we're working on. Uh, there's a lot going on over there too. So Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for everything. We really appreciate you. Have a great night. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. Happy, uh, it's Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Happy Friday. We're, uh, we're rocking here. We've got uh, the things out in the driveway. And uh, I think Big Ron's going to start messing with the uh, front, welding up the front bumper to the thing. And I am going to take you on a, on a journey with me here to attempt to tune a Holly carburetor and uh, kind of go down that road. So let me show you what we got, where we're at, and uh, where we're hoping to get. So, here we are, 1944. So we got, basically for those of you that haven't been watching, this is a 350, um, 350 horse, 400 torque, basically. It's got the camel hump heads, 10 to one compression. It's got the 350, 350 cam in it. Um, just a nice, good running 350. It's got block hugger headers. And we have this Holly Street Avenger. I believe it's like a 670, 650 CFM, something to that effect. Um, that we need to tune. So last night, I, if you guys have been following along, I said today we were going to do the plugs. Um, I did them last night. I got, uh, I got bored and restless and went ahead and pulled them and realized that they were not great. And uh, they were very black city and all the things. And uh, so I went ahead and called O'Reilly's when I've got a new set of plugs. And me and Ron slapped them in real quick. And uh, yeah, it helped. But carburetor's way off. We're running rich for sure. Um, so I watched some videos and so on like I do. And we're going to mess with this a little bit. So... Basically, I think where I'm going to start, I'm going to hook my vacuum gauge up. Um, I'm going to adjust my accelerator uh, accelerator pump uh, linkage here. Uh, get that dialed in, or as close as I think I can. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead, and, and from what I, this is what I heard, and this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to run these screws, these mixture screws in. Um, there's two of them, one on each side here. I'm going to run it in until it stops, not gorilla it, but I'm going to run it till it stops carefully, and then I'm going to back it out one and a half turns, okay, on both sides. I'm going to try to start it, see if it fires, and then we'll work from there. And basically with that vacuum gauge, um, I'm going to set my curb idle with my curb idle screw here. Um, I want to be somewhere around 900 RPMs, 800-900 RPMs. Uh, I'm going to set that, and then as I adjust these mixture screws, just like with the Volkswagen, your RPMs are going to raise or lower as you do it. So my objective here is to try to set, with the vacuum gauge, um, to turn this and get the highest number of vacuum, the highest amount of vacuum that I can uh, before it starts dropping back down, and set it there, here and on the other side. Um, and then that will probably raise or lower our RPMs. And at that point, I will readjust the curb idle 
and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do this again with the vacuum on both sides and see where we're at. And then I'm going to mess with um, our accelerator pump linkage. That is where I'm at. The other thing I'm going to do is um, this should have, or maybe it doesn't. I want to make sure that my uh, bowls aren't overfilling. Um, if I that I have those adjusted correctly, and uh, we're going to deal with that too. And uh, and while we do all this, um, Ron will be working on the thing bumper. So kind of killing two birds with one stone here. And then hopefully we'll drive around the neighborhood and hopefully it won't uh, fall on its face and stumble and gurgle and do all the things it was doing yesterday and uh, get back to where it was. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, we basically brought this in, tore all the fenders and hood and everything off of it. And then um, it had a Saginaw four speed uh, manual transmission in it. And we took that out, bell housing, clutch, flywheel, all that and put in a rebuilt turbo 350 um, and we're kind of loving it it's got a low car shifter in it at the moment and uh, all the things so that is what changed we were back here messing around with stuff I just want to make sure that everything's doing what it was supposed to be doing because it was pretty well dialed in before and I just want to get it back to there so that's what I've got for you. I'm going to get set up here and then I'll bring you back and we'll, uh, it'll be a little loud. So understand when I'm looking at the vacuum gauge and I'm showing you the vacuum gauge, I'm trying to get as high a vacuum as I can before it starts dropping down. Okay. And then, um, on both sides with the mixture screws, that's what we're trying to get and to get the idle dialed in eight, 900 RPMs and, uh, hopefully cooking with hot grease here. So, Stay tuned guys, I'll bring you along for the ride and uh, see where we go. And by a total disclaimer here, I am not a Holly carburetor aficionado or uh, tech or any of those things. I am just a guy in a garage trying to figure out how to make my car run better. So if I'm doing something wrong, feel free to tell me in the comments, just be nice. Um, I'm learning as we go on this. I'm used to Elderbrox, sort of similar but not. Um, and really it's been years since i messed with them so bear with me but uh this is what i've seen as far as adjusting them in till they bottom out back out a turn and a half um you know this is kind of the basic not getting into jetting and you know uh squirters and all that kind of thing um i just need the basic drive down the street and not fall on its face so that's where i'm trying to get with on this get to on this so bear with us i will be back shortly i'm going to hook up the vacuum gauge and get everything ready and uh, i'll bring you back thanks guys okay guys welcome back so i'm working on the accelerator pump linkage um it was really tight and this was had a lot of uh tension on it the actual rod itself um so what i did is i i talked to the holly guys um and they told me to set this with a feeler gauge at 0 0.015. I could be wrong, but that, this is what I'm going off of. So basically the idea is to loosen this, this uh, bolt here off of the rod to the point where I can put this right in here uh, and it barely drag a little bit. But yet this accelerator pump rod isn't being pushed uh, with with no gas so that we're not flooding out and putting constant fuel in so as of right now I think I'm pretty close so that's what I did and basically I put a, a 3 8 wrench here and a 3 8 wrench here I ran it in all the way ran it up the bolt up until it came off of this and then I ran it down and just kept taking my feeler gauge and putting it in there until it uh, until it was there so I think I'm in a world there. I might need to be a hair tighter, but I think I'm really, really close. So, see if that doesn't take or stumble out of this thing. It may or may not, but the accelerator pump was uh, probably eight or nine turn, full turns um, too tight. So, it had constant pressure on it and was pushing the rod down quite a bit. So, I, I would imagine I was flooding 
with that. So we've got that. Now what I'm going to do is grab a screwdriver. I'm going to set my idle screws here. And so that's bottomed out. Okay. That's one turn. That's a half. So that's one and a half on that one. I'm going to set the same thing over here. Go where I hook up my vacuum gauge. See, this one was set very different than that. So that's bottomed out. It's one turn, one and a half. Okay, so what we've got right now, guys, um, just so we're all on the same page, I have set the uh, mixture screws here on both sides, um, ran them all the way in and then back them out one and a half turns um, just to give me a, a solid base. Hopefully it'll start um, and we'll kind of work from there. Okay. I also adjusted my um, accelerator pump uh, linkage here. Uh, to where this is off of here and used a feeler gauge of 0 0.015. So hopefully, God willing, we'll, uh, we'll be okay there. And now I think I'm going to pull the air cleaner and hook up the vacuum gauge and I'll bring you back. Thanks guys. Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so plans have changed. Um, tried to adjust my, my bowl, my float level in the bowls. Um, the front was perfect, but the back I can't get any gas. So, um, and how we did that was pop this screw out, and you can see inside, and the fuel should barely trickle out. I can't get any fuel, and I've been adjusting this both directions. I've got nothing. So, that's with the electric fuel pump turned on. So, what we're doing now is we've unbolted everything here. I have another one of these on my Chrysler 300. Same cover. So this is coming off, and I'll show you what we're putting on. That guy is going on. This is Big Ron taking the uh, taking the carburetor off the 383 uh, big block, and it's going to go in. Uh, going to go into the 44 so just so you guys understand what we're doing then I will set I might just try to start it with this and then go from there because this one's pretty dialed in uh, we'll see what happens I'll bring you along for the ride okay guys welcome back I hope you can hear me right now what we've got we got the carburetor uh, the holly off of my Chrysler 300 on here the kick down cable uh, bracket came in, so we've got that hooked up. Still got to test it, but we got it hooked up. We think we're close. I've got the vacuum gauge hooked up. Okay. Right now we're running about seven psi. Okay. I've got the uh, the mixing screws adjusted all the way in and then out one and a half turns on both sides. And I've got uh, the. Uh, Accelerator pump point, uh, 0 0.15 right there. A 0 0.015 feeler gauge going under it. So I think I'm good on the accelerator pump. It sounds good. Listen to it. So I think we're in a ballpark. I'm running right about 800 RPMs, or was before I did that. We still got to hook up the electric choke, but. Uh, I'm waiting for it to get warm, turn the fan on, and then I'm going to start making my adjustments. What I'm looking to do here is to turn these screws on each side and watch this gauge to see what the highest level of vacuum I can get, the highest number before it starts falling back off and going down again. That's what I'm doing. 
and that should put me close, I believe. So we're gonna do that. When I do that, it's going to probably raise or lower the RPMs. I believe it's gonna raise it, which means I'm gonna have to go back and readjust my curb idle, okay? And then do it again, all right? There goes the fan. So now what I need to do is let that fan run its cycle. I don't want to do it when the fan's on because the RPM's higher than it should be. Okay? Up. Forever? Okay. Either way. I'm going to start adjusting this and I'll bring you guys back in a minute. Actually. You guys can watch. Sorry if it's uh, loud.
guys think? I think I'm close. So. Yeah, we're gonna go with that for right now. Okay, so we're gonna shut this thing off and uh, let it cool down. Hook my vacuum lines back up. Wait for it to stop raining. And maybe take this thing for a ride. Give it a second. 